Hello everyone, this is a quick introduction and uh, review of the Innovati Mini Hexapodino. Now the Mini Hexapodino is here mounted. It's not yet complete, but I just wanted you to check out the box and see the, the actual unit. Um, Mini Hexapodino is a hexapod and it has six legs and it's made out of plexiglass or some form of plastic. Now, like any leg platform, it's made up of a lot of servos. So, if I bring this out here, this took us quite a bit of time to build. So, what I'm going to start off by saying from the building point of view is that this kit does require some knowledge of building and some patience and an and ability to put things together. Um, it's not going to be a straightforward kit. You're going to have to do a lot of uh, a lot of screwing in, a lot of adjustments, and getting the servos just right so that this kit can uh, be built properly. The reason why I'm going to break this out into two different videos, one for programming and one for actual mechanics, is because of the complexity. The nice thing about this kit that I got to say is that these these components are all nicely designed. The servos are nice. They're the mini servos, not the large servos. Everything fit in very well. Um, now, I just wanted to kind of give you all the motion so you can kind of see how much motion you're actually going to get out of this. You know, these legs, you know, you're going to get quite a bit of motion. You're going to do quite a bit of things with this. One of the hard things about this kit I think you're going to have trouble with is actually programming because there are just so many servos. Notice that, look, look at the amount of movement we get out of each leg. And, you know, whereas this is great, but the amount of movement that we get is a lot, actually a lot. So let's just take one leg, for example, and just check that out. So we can move just the front part, the lower part of the leg, independently. That can tuck away, that can move out like that, it doesn't matter. You also have this other part here. This can easily move up and down. And just like we moved before, you can move them both together. So, you know, they can all move. Yet another part is, this moves as such. So if you want to think about how this robot's going to be moving, you're going to be thinking that this is going to be going up, moving forward, down and then all these little units and then actually push possibly to move forward possibly move some up and then move forward now one thing that we've noticed about this kit right off the bat aside from its construction and how nice it is is that there might be some issues that we're going to run into I'm not sure if we're going to run into those yet but there might be some issues uh, we were able to play and, and actually see this unit in action out at RoboGames this year and we found that it was actually quite good and agile and, and it did draw an attract, a, a, a crowd. We also saw that they had implemented the kit with a PS2 controller which we hope to do as well with the kit. Um, all in all, the kit is pretty good though. If you've never built a hexapod, I think this is a great starter kit. It's simple for the hexapods. It's not as complicated. It's a, it's a very simple base. Everything's plastic, screws right in without any problems. Um, the actual alignment of the servos is not a big deal. The actual circuitry is simple. Now, I'm not sure if any of you have actually used Innovati products before, but uh, from my experience with their products, they have uh, basically a plug and play model with their own type of stuff. And you're basically going to be using a Visual Basic like programming language to program for it. The circuitry is going to be mounted on top of here, and so you can check out the board and what it actually looks like. It's fairly small. So it basically just has a microcontroller, power, servo connectors, has I2C, and has a couple other things here that are pretty good. Just you're going to be mounting it on the bottom here. I mean, on the on the top portion right here, with a couple standoffs. Plug it in, and you're good to go. Like all many microcontrollers, this includes a mini USB port right here, which easily plugs into your computer and allows you to download code straight onto this. Furthermore, they have a motion editor, and it's specifically designed for this robot. You can pick the mini hexapodino and say, I want it to do this. I want to align that, and actually test the unit out and get it working. That's the nice thing about this kit is the software. Not only do they have programming, but they also have a lot of software that goes behind this. The documentation is pretty good as well. Um, it's fairly straightforward, fairly easy to understand. The only part that's not easy is actually putting it together because there are just so many servos. One thing that we highly suggest that we have not done yet is that we want you to take note of the underbelly of this and we want you to look at one of these servos closely. So here we have two servos, one and two. Now I'm not sure if this actually shows it to you or not, but this is actually connected with double-sided tape. What I highly recommend is getting a tie wrap and wrapping these two up tightly so that this doesn't come loose. While we were actually building the unit, we found that these were just popping right off. 
So what we did was we actually built the unit a few days ago, and then we let these sit with no pressure, um, you know, actually not holding anything up, so that way the, the glue on the double-sided tape would stick. Um, so that's about it. Um, next part of this review, or this video, I hope to show you some of the details and actually show you the robot moving around and doing things. I've seen some of these online that actually act like crabs and they kind of, you know, or, or spiders and they'll prop their legs up and they'll kind of wiggle around and do a couple of things like this, you know. Um, there you go. I mean, there you go. I mean, you can prop this up and do a bunch of stuff. As you can see, it's a... Uh, there's a lot of motion here that you're gonna you're gonna have control over. Now this kit, I don't recommend using this outside because you have these plastic components. It's probably gonna be uh, subject to chipping. Another thing I might recommend just by looking at this, I'm gonna be testing this out on carpet and on the on my workbench. But I th highly recommend if you're gonna be using this on tile or concrete that you put some kind of rubber booties on the legs so that that way they don't get ruined. You crack one of these legs and you've got no more leg for that robot. The other nice thing about this uh, being in plastic, and or I think it's plexiglass or some kind of some kind of plastic, is that you know it, it, it opens the door to you manufacturing your own legs and doing your own uh, um, you know shape. Um, I've seen a couple of people actually take this type of kit, recom you know convert it to aluminum pieces or aluminum legs, leaving some of the plastic components, um, and you can actually use these plastic pieces as a stencil for doing that. Um, there's plenty of them there. They're easy to show. They're easy to put. The hard, the only thing you have to do is basically figure out how to make the servo holes and find a way to mount it, and you're good, you're good to go. Anyways, that concludes this uh, quick introduction to the uh, Innovati Mini Hexapod Dino. We hope to come back soon and show you more about it.